Hello, what's up and what's happening? And welcome back to the channel. Today we got some more of the Jordan Challenge. We got to average 31 points. Got to shoot better than 55%. Got to have at least 11 assists per game. That's the averages that we have to have. And of course, we have to win this series. Now, as of right now, we are down two games to one. And we have the next three games in the uh, next two games, excuse me, in LA. We're gonna have game six if, the, if we get to a game six, because for all we know, we could just get our butts handed to us here in LA and this series will be over. But then I have to start this whole challenge over because I don't lose no challenges and keep it that way, okay? So Jordan, a little pull up, he's gonna knock that down. It's a two two ball game in transition. Magic, he has it going down the other way. He's gonna pull up. Nope, he's gonna drop it off to Divac. And that's too easy. Defense got to step up. Now, in this game, you will see Jordan pick up Magic. You will see Scotty pick up Magic a little bit more as well. I will be putting Jordan at the point. Um, and I will bring in Hodges off of the bench, who is our best three-point shooter on the team to hopefully spread the floor out. You can see right here, the mid-range with Jordan is on fire. He is absolutely in fuego. Nine to four is the score. Going to abuse that little pick, and then we're going to just pull up again. Leaner, nothing but the bottom of the net. It is 11 to four. We get the steal off the inbound. Hodges inside the Jordan. Jordan all over it. Magic. Magic can't handle MJ. We all know this. 13 to 8 is the score. Then Worthy is like, I'm going to bring my team back. Worthy, he has been the best player. Now, Magic is Magic, obviously, but when, when they need a basket, they have looked to Scott and they have looked to Worthy, and Worthy is worthy of all the praise. Okay, 17 to 10 is now the score. MJ still cooking, abusing that screen yet again, pulling up Magic. Too much space. That's just too much space. And it's 19 to 10 up by 9. Magic trying to bring the squad back before the first quarter is up. And he cuts the lead down to 7. But it's been all MJ this first quarter. And he's knocking down another one. 16 points, 8 for 8. All basically inside the 3 point line. We don't need to be knocking down heck of 3's with MJ. But with Hodges, oh, you know. We get the lucky roll sometimes. That's right. 24 to 12 is the score going into the second quarter. So putting Jordan on Johnson has made a difference from what I can tell. Maybe you haven't been able to tell, but it has made a difference. If we can stop them from scoring three-pointers, we should be able to win this game. But to get three the hard way with Scott, then the very next possession, they knock down a two. So Perkins, he's deadly, but we're deadly in transition. We get the alley-oop. Scott is going to lay it up and lay it, and we increase our lead back to five. But Worthy is giving Scotty all kinds of problems, giving me all kinds of problems. And it's 26 to 23. Armstrong, he's in the ball game. I was hoping Armstrong would be a better three point shooter, um, and he wasn't. So you're not going to see him too much. Because I'm just looking for people that can spread the floor at this point. Scotty and MJ, they can score inside at will, basically, as you see Scotty get three the harder way. 31 23 is now the score. MJ picking up Magic. Magic gives it to Perkins. And then he knocks home a tough floater. He has eight points to go along with four assists. We're going to find Hodges in the corner. That's not a three. It's a two. And we get another lucky roll to increase the lead up to ten. But Magic and the Lakers, they keep on battling back. But Jordan, he might be too hot to handle in this game four. As he already has 20 points, two rebounds. Not sure how many assists I got with him so far. But as long as we average 11, then we're good. We don't need to get 11 every single game. Obviously, we all know the rules of averages. Okay, that's a bad pass. Worthy is going to step in front of that one. I was, I was hoping that Hodges would go to the three-point line. He didn't, so I passed it kind of late. And, of course, that leads to Worthy picking it off. I don't know why I'm sagging off a of Magic right there. He's going to line one up and knock it down. So 39-32 to 32 is the score going into halftime. You see what Jordan is doing. He is, leading the le he is leading the way with, what, 20 points so far, scoring more than half of the team's points. And he has five assists, three rebounds, and we're doing our thing. Magic. Picking up Jordan. Jordan going to find Scotty. Scotty lining up a three, and he's going to hit that one. And it's 44 to 34. Doing our thing. That got to Scotty again. Got to watch out for that three point shot. But we all know he is a better driver, better finisher around the rim than he is a three point shooter. But sometimes my thumbs just connect. Okay? Scotty not known for knocking down too many threes in his career. But with my thumbs, anything is possible. Even some bad, even some bad plays, even some foolery. That is going to go for uh, Magic, 15 points, 4 assists. He's, he's trying to take over. He sees what's going on, but I'm hoping that I'm wearing him down on the defensive. Then he has to pick up uh, Michael, so hopefully that wears him down. Hodges, another deep two. He's going to line that one up, and he's going to get that one 
to fall. So we continue to increase our lead, but the Lakers continue to cut it back down. It goes back up to 10, back down to 8. Back up to 10, back down to 8. We're going to kick it out to Scotty for 3. Gets it to go. And now we are up 11. So I'm feeling pretty good. You see that magic is hot, though. So every time he touches the ball, it's like somebody's going to score. Either he's going to score or somebody's going to score off of him because he's one of the best, best creators that the game has ever seen. All right? 62-55 is now the score in the fourth quarter. d you already know you cannot stick with MJ. That is a mismatch. But the Lakers, look at this. The Lakers cut the lead down to five. So we need a basket right here. We're going to find Scotty. And Scotty's going to knock it in. The best number two ever. 11 points. Three for three from three-point line. Going to kick it out. Hodges with another deep two. And he knocks that thing down. Up by six. And we're going to go to the line. We're going to check out some of the stats from MJ. We're up right now by six. If we knock the, we, if we hit one free throw game, is basically over. It's going to make it at least a three-possession game. And with the time on the clock, they don't have enough time to do anything. So right now we have 32 points. Going to knock down this free throw with a perfect release. Because that's how I do. Perfection is on my mind. Perfection is on the menu. 74 to 67. And we're going to knock that one down as well. And the final will be 75 to 69. So we're going to tie this series up at two games apiece. That's a good look, man. That is a really good look. MJ doing his thing ever since the first half, dropping 20 points on their heads to kick things off. He'll finish with 34. And I believe he had, I think he had like, what, 12 assists? I don't know. I forget. Something like that. All I know is that our averages are still pretty solid. And as you can see, series is tied up at two. So here we go. Game number five. Pippen trying to get inside. The chance of defense are ringing down. We're going to get inside to Grant. And when Grant gets going, they're in trouble. Because usually I'm just relying on Michael. Scotty, of course, is my number two. Sometimes Paxson can hit some threes for me. Armstrong has really been inconsistent this whole series. Um, Hodges, he came in firing. And, of course, Jordan is Jordan. Two shots and one. He's happy. I'm happy. 5-4 is the score here in the early going. Crossover dribble on Magic. Fadeaway jumper. We have a patent on that. We invented that. Nobody take that. 7-4 is the score. We get another screen inside the sky. A little mid-range jumper. About a 12-footer. 12-footer. 14-footer. Somewhere around there. And it's 11-4. We continue to dominate here in L.A. But Magic is like, I run L.A. This is my city. Please, backup player. I got this. They continue to get stuck in this mismatch. In this mismatch. But d actually plays some pretty good defense. Can he play good defense on Scotty? Maybe. But we get it to Horace. And Horace is going to lay that thing up and in. Five-point lead for the Bulls. Inside the Worthy. Worthy backing down. Spin move. And he's going to get that thing to fall. He's too strong for Jordan to handle. Worthy is just a beast in this game. I didn't think he was that beastly. But clearly I was wrong. And clearly I forgot how good he was. Magic. Little turnaround. Floater. Gets it to go. Six points. For the magic man. Jordan gets Scott in the air. And it's trouble for D-Bot. Get on my poster, baby. We're going to be selling those everywhere in a Nike store near you. d watch out, play. Until you get to the Kings, man. You <laughs> had a rough life. 15 to 12. And then Scott going to drop in a little flow, a little a mid-range, a little fadeaway, I should say. Not a floater, but a fadeaway. And now MJ inside the paint. Magic can't handle it. He can't handle them. It's a mismatch. We're going to take that all day. And that is going to do it for the first quarter. So 17 to 14 is the score. 17 to 14 is still the score. We're going to get it inside to King. And King, he's going to lay it up and in and all kinds of traffic. And we increase our lead. But the Magic Man and the Lakers, they continue to fight back. But MJ, he just might be too much for the Lakers to contend with. Magic inside the Perkins. Back out to Magic. Magic, he's going to do everything he can to carry his team. He's going to get that one to go. It's a one-point ball game. But MJ in the lane. Too quick, too fast, too athletic, too much skill. And he increases the lead again. But the Lakers keep firing back. 5.35 to go here in the first quarter. Second quarter, excuse me. And Magic going to knock that one home. And the Lakers take the lead for maybe the first time today. But Michael's like, just give me the lead right back. But then the Lakers, they come right back. 28-27. Perkins has it. Low block. He's going to knock that one down all day. Magic. No. Scott with the rebound. Scott gets MJ in the air. And Scott is going to lay it up and in. 
So 32 to 27 is the score. MJ over to Scottie Pippen, and Scottie Pippen knocks down a triple, and we cut the lead down to two. Off of the steal, down by four. We get it over to Michael. Michael trying to set something up. He's going to get inside again, and he flies to the hoop. 32-34. Scott back the other way. He gets denied, but they get their own miss, and they're going to lay it up and in, and that is going to do it for the first half so we are down by six of course mj has never played in the game seven but that i guess could change right here because we're down in this one and we're trying to win this series okay so michael gets the screen michael to the lane and michael two hands for safety 38 34 perkins off the inbounds we leave worthy wide open and he's gonna knock down a corner a corner three and we're down again so 36 41 scott on Hodges or Hodges on Scott and Scott's right he's like take that all up in your grill I'm gonna knock that one home 47 41 MJ fade away Diva he tried and he, I guess he succeeded but then we out to Hodges deep three you gotta guard 14 not too many people know who he is because he's telling the backup shooting guard to MJ but that boy can knock down some triples please believe they're gonna get the tip no they're not gonna get the tip magic gets the ball back and he's gonna lay it up and in and magic and the lakers continue to increase their lead every time we get a little bit closer they pull away even further so 46 49 we've got hodges that's gonna be a two and he's gonna knock that one in so we're down by one we get the ball right back mj in transition the hodges that's gonna be a three and he's gonna get the roll again 11 points four for six I'm loving it. We are up by two, and then Magic too hot to handle. He got away from Jordan and lay it up over Paxton, and now it's the 53-53 ball game, and then nobody stops the ball. You have got to pick up number 23 in black and red, okay? It's, you, you have to, or we're just going to dunk it on your head all day long. We get the rebound, and we are off to the races. You see it. Alley-oop time. Scotty was running with me. He's my running mate. He's my right-hand man. Alley oop finish. That's what I'm talking about. 61 55 with the score. We're going to kick it over to Paxton. And he's going to beat the buzzer with the triple. So 64 65 the score going into that fourth quarter. If we win this ball game, we will be up 3 2. And of course, we will take that lead back to Chicago for game number six. So 68 to 59 is the score. Magic is missing. He cooled off just a little bit. I'm okay with that trust me i am that's gonna be a triple and we line it up and we knock it down 74 63 scott coming back the other way the lakers are running out of time in this one but scott he's gonna take it coast to coast and that's 74 to 65 they go with the inbound play uh magic and try to throw the alley-oop off of that inbound play doesn't work mj has it going back the other way and that is basically going to do it 85 to 73 is the final so I feel like we kind of did our thing in LA. We split. What we didn't split. We won two games out of three in LA to give us a 3-2 lead. Heading back home to Chicago, looking for Jordan's first ring. Now, of course, I keep on saying it. The Bulls have never played in a game seven, but we are on the verge of going to a game seven as we go straight to the fourth quarter. It is 69 to 65. There has been a straight duel between Jordan and Johnson. But, of course, Johnson has a little bit more help from Worthy than, I, than I've gotten from Scottie Pippen in this one. Worthy off of the miss going the other way. Gets it over to Johnson. Johnson picked up by Jordan. He's going to get inside. He's going to pull up. He's going to try to knock one down. He can't do it. Everybody is pressing at this point, if you can't tell. Scottie. He has looking for a screen from Horace. He's going to try to get inside. Kicks it out to Hodges. And he's going to line one up. But that's not going to fall. 69-65 is still the score. Scott has it going back the other way. He drops it back off to Johnson. Johnson trying to set something up. And Johnson with the floater. And that's going to fall. And the Lakers are now up by 6. 71-65. Will Jordan be heading to a game 7? We get a screen. Jordan trying to get inside. Kicks it back out. Not the best pass. That's going to be tipped by Johnson. And that's Jordan's fifth turnover of today. He's been pretty efficient though for shooting. 13 of 18 for 31 points so far. Scott, turnaround jumper. That's nothing but the bottom of the net. 78-69 is now the score. MJ, crossover dribble. MJ gets inside. And he's going to knock that one home. 78-71. Going to go to Jordan. Jordan in transition. 
looking for somebody to pass the ball to or looking to do work. He's going to bring it back out to the three-point line. Gets it inside to Hodges who lays it up and lays it in. 81-73. to Perkins. He's trying to do something he can't do. Not a darn thing. Scotty. He takes it. Scotty. Crossover dribble. Over to Hodges. He's going to knock one down. And we are down by five with a minute 11 on the clock. Now we're down by what? What's that? Nine? We're down by nine. We got to hurry up. Jordan. Inside. Over d -Voc. He's going to knock that one down. 39 points for MJ. Lakers have it. Johnson, he doesn't have it anymore as MJ gets to steal in transition. He's going to take it all the way. He is not. He's going to drop this thing off to Scotty. Scotty, he's going to line one up, and he's good from three. So now it's 85 to 81. MJ, crossover dribble. Looking for Scotty. Scotty in the corner. That's going to be a two. No, it's a three. And it's 85 to 84. Can we get a stop defensively? If we can, we can win this one right here, right now, and wrap up the finals. Johnson has it. Jordan picks him up. 15 on the shot clock. One point game. Lakers, they have the lead. Johnson with the right hand dribble. Jordan trying to stay in front. Crossover by Magic. Magic with the Euro step. Then he drops it off to Worthy. He makes it plus the foul. So if Worthy knocks this down, it will be all she wrote, and he will knock that down. So we have to score, foul, and then score again, and I don't think that's going to happen. And as you can see, it didn't happen. The Lakers, they would end up winning 90-84. to So tomorrow, we will be having game number seven. That's right, game seven. Worthy, Jordan, Johnson. Pimpin, who is going to win? MJ balled out 39 points, 14 assists. So, as of right now, we have reached every milestone. If we get, I think, three assists, then we will average 11 for the series. Um, but we need MJ just to take over from jump. And I think that he can do that. Obviously, he's Jordan. Uh, it, it, it just depends on my thumbs at this point. So hopefully, we can get things done and we can win this finals and wrap this one up. I ain't trying to do this challenge again. This one, to me, is one of the more difficult ones because of all the games you have to play to try to win the finals. The other one that's difficult, I believe, is the one versus the Utah Jazz. We have to get a certain number of steals. That one was difficult as well. The ones where we had to get rebounds and steals are always difficult because, again, MJ's the two guard. Yes, he gets steals. Yes, he can get rebounds. But you have everybody else trying to get rebounds too. It's not like with Westbrook when everybody's moving out the way. Steven Adams led the league in offensive rebounding, but not like the whole like rebounding category because, you know, defensive rebounds, I went to Westbrook because he was just all over the place. But anyways, man, I'm just saying. That's going to do it. hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace, love, hot sauce.